Hey, Sean, it's so amazing to be here with you. And thank you so much for giving me your time to connect here and, you know, hopefully get to engage with some of your amazing followers in London. Nice to have you here, Sean. Winston, it's my pleasure, brother. <laughs> so, Sean, I just wanted you to kind of kick us off by telling us a bit about your story. I mean, I know it already, and I'm sure many people watching do. But just to kind of give us a, a quick background, who you are and how you ended up becoming this amazing mentor to millions of people around the world, including myself. So, born into a container very similar to yourself, called Osteogenesis Imperfecta, uh, lots of broken bones and surgeries and uh, a lot of heartache along the way uh, in relationships, a lot of challenges. But uh, what shifted for me is as I got older, I fell in love with psychology and mindset. And I surrounded myself with books and courses and mentors and coaches that taught me that there was way more to life than just the container I have, that I could make a maximum impact with my life. And so I became a professional speaker at the age of 17. And I've been speaking ever since. You know, most people don't keep doing their first job 25 years later. You know, most people would still be babysitting or mowing lawns if that was the case. But uh, for me, I'm still doing my first job as a professional speaker. Uh, 18 years ago, though, I became a professional listener as a therapist mm. and fell in love with helping people with their pain and their problems and their challenges. Uh, I started building an online community, making uh, videos that have gone mega viral, reaching hundreds of millions of people around the world. And, uh, you know, every day I, I do something, if not many things, to uh, let people know that there's so much more to them that they have yet to be introduced to and that you need to uh, you need to become curious about life and learn lots of different topics and, and be open-minded and not closed off to learning new things. So I started uh, doing a speaker training course about five years ago. I did my first one. My first one, uh, we had some massive named speakers uh, presenting. It was a huge honor and we've continued to grow it ever since. So uh, I've traveled to uh, 17 or 18 countries now speaking. I've spoken pretty much everywhere in the major continental US and uh, I've written a few books. Some of them have been translated in 12 different languages. And I'm always uh, trying to do new things. I've been in over a dozen documentaries about either my life or my message. And it's just been, it's been an honor to, to have the life that I've had. And I'm always trying to figure out how, how I can squeeze more out of it. Yeah, I love that, Sean. And, you know, you touched on a few different things there. You touched on the speaking, you know, and all the countries you visited. And in fact, you need to come and visit the UK. At some I've point. never been to the UK, which blows my mind. Shocking, shocking. I don't know how that has not happened. Maybe, but, uh, maybe my American roots are, are still afraid that if I come over there, you guys won't let me come home or something. That could happen, actually. So, <laughs> But I'll look after you. I'll make sure I'll get you back to the airport. So All right, done. Do come over. And so you've touched on the speaking. You've touched on you know how you fell in love with psychology. And you've touched on the books that you've written, the videos that you've posted that have gone online, have, have gone viral on the internet. So, what would you say was sort of your biggest achievement, or maybe the one that you're most proud of? Something that we talked about earlier offline here um, is finding the woman of my dreams, becoming the man that she would be attracted to, and getting married to my wife Mindy. You know. Uh, it sounds cliche, but I made three major decisions in my life that I feel like radically changed the course of my future. One was marrying Mindy. Uh, two was uh, moving to Arizona from Chicago to be near my mentor. And three was becoming a professional speaker, being willing to have the courage to get my voice out there. And 
the the goal of being able to marry Mindy was a long road of really having to work on my own psyche and my own confidence because it's challenging enough to date but when you're three feet tall and in a wheelchair it adds a whole other level of complexity as I know you understand yeah you touched on something as well previously about this event that you've sort of been running the last five years which is a bit of a speaker training and I've sort of shared with my audience that you know you're going to be making an announcement about your next event so could you tell us a bit more about it and sort of who is it for and what can people expect and yeah. are people from England invited to attend this event? Yes, we will let the English come. Um, but uh, yeah, we have people fly in from all around the world actually. We've had people come in from lots of places in Europe and Asia even um, and maybe even Africa at this point. Uh, but now uh, we put together this event. It's going to be this August. Um, you can get all the details at 10kspeeches.com you guys can give you can give them a link 10kspeeches.com and it's more than just for speaking it's about communicating and getting a message out into the world so some people are podcasters some people are authors some people are coaches and speakers but i would say primarily it's people that want to develop their message through story and platform speaking skills mm -hmm.